Warning, a nostalgia overdose is imminent. We good? Okay, I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best Pokemon episodes. All right, I finally beat Gary. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. We're going to be taking a look at the anime's defining episodes, which is pretty tough because there's over a thousand of them. And of course, there will be spoilers, but if you're okay with that, let's catch them all. Or maybe ten. Jesse! James! Mind if I cut in? Number 10, Charmander, the stray Pokemon. For any animal lover, this chapter should hit your soul hard. While hiking towards the nearest town, Ash and the gang stumble across an injured Charmander waiting for its trainer to return. After learning the trainer has abandoned the Pokemon and fearing the worst due to a raging storm, Ash and co sprint through the freezing rain and save Charmander mere moments before its flame is extinguished. Hold on! You can make it, Charmander! After siding with Ash against its former owner, Charmander joins his team and goes on to become one of the show's most iconic characters. You got a Pokemon and a new friend. Number 9. One journey ends, another begins. While not the first to flirt with mortality, few episodes are as blunt about the concept of death as this one. Thousand. Thousand. Up until this point, Litten occasionally pumped up to steal Ash's groceries and act as a comic relief. However, the stubborn feline was only attempting to feed an elderly Stoutland. This is what you were so worried about, wasn't it? <laughs> After the aging Pokemon collapses, Litten reaches out to Ash for help, but Nurse Joy explains that nothing can be done to save Stoutland. Pokemon age and eventually pass away, but Litten's grief-stricken story will stay with us forever. Number 8. Enter the Dragonite Ash seems doomed to forever fall short of winning a Pokemon League, but the winner's trophy was far from a poor substitution. In the decisive match against the Orange Crew's supreme gym leader Drake, Dragonite is the only thing blocking Ash's road to victory. Dragonite, use your slam attack now! With Charizard, Squirtle and Tauros succumbing to Dragonite's overwhelming strength, Ash's hopes and aspirations rest solely on the outmatched Pikachu. Whoa! Just a flick of its scaly tail and Dragonite sends Pikachu skyward! Pikachu! Despite the odds being firmly stacked against it, Pikachu defies all of them and unleashes a powerful thunder to defeat the dragon. Enter the Dragonite is the perfect culmination of Ash's journey up until that point. You really deserve that trophy. You're a great Pokemon trainer. Cause I have great Pokemon! Number 7. Island of the Giant Pokemon Putting aside Meowth, Mewtwo and a handful of others, generally Pokemon are incapable of speech. Island of the Giant Pokemon is memorable for two reasons, Kaiju-sized Pokemon and surprisingly adding subtitles for Pikachu and friends. Following a shipwreck and a Gyarados attack, the heroes and Team Rocket land on a strange island home to, among others, a massive robot Charizard. Let's get out of here! Ah! To make matters even worse, the trainers end up separated from their Pokemon. What this episode lacks in Pokemon battles, it makes up for with an inside look at the personalities behind the iconic little faces. Bulba, Bulba. Squirtle. Number 6. Volcanic Panic What's cooler than a dragon fighting a humanoid magma monster? A dragon fighting a humanoid magma monster in a volcano, that's what. Magma. 
Once Charmeleon evolved into Charizard, the Pokemon went through an extensive rebellious period, refusing to obey Ash. That was until he finally decided to play ball in the gym battle against Blaine. <gasps> Charizard? Besides being an all-around excellent battle, Charizard vs Magmar was the first time we got to see what the unpredictable dragon could truly do, and we were not disappointed. Number 5. Pokemon I Choose You Fueled by Nintendo's popular games, the anime began approximately a year later and quickly amassed a dedicated fan base. I will be a Pokemon master. Pokemon master. That is what I'll Ash, get to bed. Even though Pikachu could be caught in the already released JRPGs, the show's first episode cemented the electrifying creature as the franchise's mascot. It's also known as Electric Mouse. It's usually shy, but can sometimes have an electrifying personality. I see what you mean. Shocking, isn't it? The only Indigo League chapter without an appearance from Team Rocket, the pilot episode perfectly established Ash's rivalry with Gary, introduced Misty, and was the start of Ash and Pikachu's unbreakable bond as the two fend off Spiro in an iconic moment. Number 4. A Riveting Rivalry Pokemon's slogan may read, Gotta Catch Em All, but Ash's ultimate goal is to win a Pokemon League. Now, Thunderbolt! <laughs> this episode sees the persistent trainer facing off against Sawyer in the Kalos League semi-finals, with the match culminating in an intense battle between Ash's Greninja and Mega Sceptile. <laughs> After 19 seasons and 5 failures, finally, Ash manages to reach a Pokemon League final, and the battle more than lives up to the hype. <laughs> Boasting some of the series' most fluid animation, a riveting rivalry incorporates everything that is great about Pokemon and represents Ash's peak as a trainer. We really did it, Greninja! Number 3. Gotta Catch You Later For an anime that tends to be rather light-hearted and inconsequential, Pokemon's saddest episodes are downright depressing. That's great! You finally got your bike back! Now you get home fast! whoop you do Gotta Catch You Later signaled an end of an era. Following more than 200 episodes, Misty and Brock are urgently requested to return home, causing the original gang to part ways for good. Uh, I guess you guys should go now, huh? Okay, take care. We'll miss you. The gang's breakup happens abruptly and with little to no build-up, but the episode still manages to hit all the right notes while providing the characters and fans with closure. Thank you, Misty and Rob. I'll miss you. Number 2, Pikachu's Goodbye. Serving as Pokemon's grand return to television following the controversial Cyber Soldier Porygon episode, the series could not have asked for a more convincing comeback. P Pika. Pikachu. Pikachu. Ash's electrifying rodent stumbles across and develops a bond with a pack of wild Pikachus, which forces the trainer to question whether the Pokemon might be better off among its own kind. Selflessly choosing to prioritize Pikachu's happiness, Ash tearfully pushes the Pokemon away, although their goodbye does not last for long. All of these Pikachu here in the forest need you, so just goodbye! Plus, this is an episode with dozens of adorable Pikachus. So much cuteness could melt the coldest of hearts. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Goodbye, Butterfree! I'll always remember you! Thank you for everything! Goodbye, Butterfree! Under the evening sky with the moon high up above. I'll mind to speak human, 
because this cat's got puppy love. Number one, can't beat the heat. Over the years, Ash and Gary have had a number of matches, but none compared to when their rivalry reached its climax at the Johto League Silver Conference. The two battle with stacked teams that would even give the Elite Four a run for their money. With both trainers on their final Pokemon, the battle boiled down to Gary's Blastoise and Ash's Charizard, a matchup that hardly favored the fire breathing dragon. Blastoise! Hydra Pump! Blastoise! Thanks to Charizard's unbelievable physical prowess and some quick thinking by Ash, the protagonist finally scores a victory, and with it ends Gary's respect. I'll cheer for you in your second match. Thanks. Good luck. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.